Okay, uh, moving on to our uh, third speaker. And um, before I introduce uh, Dr. Ghassan Ramadan Girardi, I would just like to offer my um, best wishes to everybody in Lebanon who have been uh, affected by the recent uh, tragic events uh, in Beirut. I know um, Ghassan has also been affected as of uh, colleagues at uh, the BirdLife partner, um, SPNL. Uh, and I wish everybody um, in um, in Beirut and, and Lebanon um, the best um, in the coming weeks and months. Um, I know that our next speaker uh, has travelled to the US where I believe it is about 2.30 in the morning um, and hopefully he's still awake and with us. Uh, Gassan recently retired from uh, the Lebanese University in Beirut. Uh, he's incredibly well known and highly uh, respected ornithologist um, in Lebanon uh, and he is currently the executive director of the Lebanese uh, Rare Bird Committee and he's a, a, an incessant ornithological researcher. Um, in the next issue of our journal Sandgrouse there will be an updated uh, checklist uh, from uh, Gassan on the birds of Lebanon uh, and these will include uh, many recent uh, records any uh, recent discoveries. Um, he's also recently published an excellent photographic guide, um, Guide to the, uh, the Birds of Lebanon with uh, co-author Farah Itani. And there is a, a current, uh, there is a review on um, the OSME uh, website. If you go to the OSME region section of our website, uh, the book is uh, reviewed there. It's an excellent uh, photographic guide. So our next speaker is uh, Dr. Ghassan Ramadan Girardi, who will present an overview of the birds of Lebanon. So over to you, Ghassan. Um, thank you, Rob, for your kind words about, about Lebanon. Uh, well, uh, since my time is short, I will uh, I will start uh, the presentation. Uh, in fact, uh, let me say that the studies of birds in Lebanon are not new. They started uh, in 1822 when Hembridge and Ehrenberg uh, visited Lebanon in 1822. And uh, their studies were followed by Tristram between 1860 and 1885. And the number of uh, bird watchers or ethologists was increasing. I joined uh, the group, uh, in, in fact, after uh, Benson, when she uh, published her book, Birds of uh, Jordan and Lebanon. And 70, I started working with a French ornithologist who encouraged me to go to France to prepare my PhD on birds. And the number continued to increase in recent years, especially with uh, famous uh, ornithologists and uh, bird watchers. Uh, of them, some uh, were working with me especially on the recent uh, list of birds like uh, Fuad Eitani and his excellent photos that I'm using here in this presentation also, like also uh, James Hogg, uh, Asad Sarhal, and uh, my wife. Well, uh, the number of uh, species from uh, 10 years to others uh, was in increasing. Uh, since uh, Veer ben Benson in her book, um, I think she was having 360 species, but in 1999, in my first uh, updated checklist of the birds of Lebanon, uh, we got uh, 395, and in 2008, the same number, and 404 uh, species in 2020. So an increase in the beginning of 35 species, here is a typo. And uh, in recent year, and uh, recent in, during the last 10 years, I mean, 
we received the new uh, nine uh, new bird species for Lebanon, and the residents increased from 53 to 65 species. The number of summer breeders from 57 to 73 species and passage migrants still the same and uh, the vagrants were reduced because some vagrants became, for example, passage migrant rare or common, depends on uh, even bre breeding. Uh, everything was increasing, passage migrant uh, same, vagrant decreasing and Finally, the extinct species, there were two extinct species, Merops uh, persicus and uh, uh, Sterna vincarensis. They were mentioned by Stenhouse in 19, uh, 1899, I think, and uh, uh, were absent in Lebanon. We consider them extinct and the last two years they appeared and they are published in this uh, checklist of today. Uh, among the new species or the new species were nine for Lebanon and the new species that bred for the first time in Lebanon also are nine and the species that disappeared for a long time and returned also are nine. I don't know how this happens but it is. Uh, the uh, cotton pygmy goose, white-headed duck, among the species or the species uh, of the species that are recorded recently, the Diederic cuckoo and the uh, eyebrowed uh, thrush, the white crowned uh, wheat ear and Eurasian bullfinch. Uh, the common rosefinch and red crossed. The crossbill and then the black eared kite. Of the species that recently bred in the, for the first time in Lebanon, the great crested grebe that started uh, breeding last year in Amik and this year too. The squacco heron started breeding in 2020 and the Eurasian cattle egret, Bibulcus in 20. Little Igret, Igreta Garzetta also in uh, to 2020. All were breeding in a small island surrounded by a moat of water and this was in Beka. Very interesting and uh, so, uh, all of them, I have a photo for all of them nesting in one uh, tree also. Anyway, um, we uh, recorded the stone curlew uh, breeding in the north of Lebanon and the black winged kite breeding in Anjar and possibly will be found breeding in, uh, in Amik. Little ringed plover was common in, uh, in Beirut near the airport of Beirut that was uh, exploded uh, recently. Uh, European serin uh, was found in 2015 breeding in, with, within the same uh, population of uh, Syrian serin. European serin is breeding with Syrian serin. I was afraid that a competition will happen and we will lose the Syrian serin in Anjar, but apparently after five years it appears that the case is stable. And finally, uh, the gold crest was uh, found in the north of Lebanon. There are uh, species that probably or uh, possibly uh, going to be recorded as breeding, we don't know, but I have good uh, records uh, and documentation from Michel Savan on the European uh, robin. As for the Eurasian nuthatch, that it was mentioned only by Tristram in 1860, it reappeared last year and this year. 
one in, in the middle of Lebanon and one in north of Lebanon. And he must be, uh, or most probably be breeding, we will see. And the black francolin was last mentioned, only mentioned one time in Lebanon in, in 58 by George Tommy, reappeared recently. And uh, I prefer not saying where, where because we have to protect it. Uh, um, hunters may go, hunters in Lebanon are using science to go and, and uh, kill birds. I mean shooters. Uh, this bird was found singing and the female was in the bush. Uh, there are also species that are undergoing range expansion, namely uh, the Namaka dog that is appearing nearly in the south, in the middle, and now in the north, and the Palestine songbird, which was limited to Tyre in, in South Lebanon, and progressively every year is uh, uh, going up to the north. In total, the endangered species, the globally threatened species are, are 19. One is sociable lapwing, uh, last record was last year in uh, Russia, and four endangered and uh, 14 vulnerable species. The ones that are marked uh, with uh, red font are breeding in Lebanon, the Syrian seren vulnerable and the turtle dove, which is vulnerable too. They breed in Lebanon. Here we see uh, how uh, the birds that disappear are returned or seen again, uh, and uh, the period of their absence uh, varied between 10 years and 124 years. This is the case of the nuthatch, uh, the Eurasian uh, nuthatch, and we see the blue cheeked bee tear, which is marked by E extinct. Lesser crested term extent reappeared again after 70 and 120 years, respectively. Well, this is the increase in numbers of breeding birds and uh, uh, individuals and their distribution, etc. All these things happen because of increased awareness in Lebanon. This is not easy. We are progressing very well. And this last year we had in, uh, 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 the bird count, the raptors count. And Richard, uh, I was uh, happy to see him there. Here you see also some participants in this uh, uh, talk. I mean, uh, uh, watching us like Thomas and uh, other friends. Uh, Assad. Well, uh, awareness was very important and was conducted by two, uh, mainly by two NGOs, uh, SPNL and ABCL, Association for uh, Bird Conservation in Lebanon. SPNL, you know, it is Bird Life Partner. Uh, COVID-19 also contributed uh, by keeping uh, shooters at home. Uh, probably why the three, three species that we uh, recorded breeding for this time of egrets, uh, herons, um, they were breeding because of the lockdown. And uh, the economic crisis we are seeing also increased the price of the cartridges and the number of illegal hunters is reduced from time to time with time. Uh, enforcement of law played uh, an important role. I, I trained about uh, 450 policemen uh, to, to tell them how to identify huntable from unhuntable birds and also the NGOs uh, contributed with uh, anti-pouching unit uh, and caps uh, to uh, track the poachers and tell police about them. This was working very well. Events were also uh, made uh, in which uh, important people were 
uh, contributing. This is uh, a push for uh, conservation of birds. And we see at the end uh, that uh, the illegal uh, killing of birds in Lebanon uh, was monitored uh, in one of the projects at SPNL, and we found that the number is, dec is decreasing slowly uh, due to awareness, but later on, the law of enforce, uh, law enforcement uh, started strong, uh, contributed to a big drop in 2018 uh, and 19. And finally, in 2020, awareness plus law enforcement plus COVID and economic crisis reduced it too much, uh, very low. We hope that uh, this uh, number of pouchi pouching will continue this way and uh, one day you will see that Lebanon is, uh, uh, is, is happy with, with birds, that everybody will uh, cease from uh, killing and making massacres. Thank you for uh, listening and thank you also. That's brilliant, thank you Ghassan. Uh, very interesting and some wonderful photography there too, really enjoying those pictures. Um, there are quite a few questions, so if you forgive me, I'll dive straight into those. Uh, Junaid asks, what is the trend in bird numbers in Lebanon, and what about the invasive species too? Uh, let me start by the invasive species. Uh, the big problem is coming from the mina, common mina, Acridoteris tristis. That was introduced to Lebanon about uh, 20 years ago and it prospering from the American University campus to other parts of Lebanon and now are, are seen everywhere. Last time I was with my friend Fouad Eitani uh, in the uh, waterfront of Beirut and uh, the little ring plover were, bring, uh, were uh, breeding there and uh, the common miner was also searching for their chicks or eggs to feed on them. I saw them also destroying a nest of other species and also chasing their hoopoes from holes of trees, etc. This species must be eradicated. It is in, in, uh, in, the, in, in, in villages, in town, in, in cities, and it is difficult to... to... I ask uh, uh, as a member of uh, uh, Higher Hunting Council, I asked to uh, make a program uh, and uh, uh, eliminate this uh, species, but uh, people were not interested, not yet. Maybe we need uh, uh, support from different parts to encourage Lebanon. Probably not at this moment of, of uh, time, later on. Uh, the, uh, the, the trend uh, of, uh, of species, uh, apart from illegal killing, uh, there is a decline, uh, but the percentage is not uh, calculated yet. I cannot uh, say in advance, but we can feel it. We are in the field every day. We can feel there is, there is a decline. We, we feel that species are disappearing from places and are going to other places, not with the same uh, number of uh, individuals or uh, something like that. Yeah. Thank you. Um, there's quite a lot of conversation about uh, hunting. So questions around will hunting for food rather than sport increase in the current economic situation? Um, and then Lucas asking, he would assume that a worsening economic situation would lead to an increase rather than a decrease. Any idea as to why it led to a decrease? Why the? I think he was on, he was of the understanding that you'd said that hunting had led to, um, sorry, that the economic situation had led to a decrease in hunting. Yeah, uh, 
Uh, now, um, you know, uh, the dollar was uh, 1.5, uh, 1,500 uh, Lebanese pound. Now it is around uh, 800, 8,000 Lebanese uh, pound. And the cartridges, boxes of cartridges are uh, expensive. Why they are expensive? Because there are no, no uh, dollars in Lebanon to buy from abroad. And uh, slowly, slowly, in addition to deposits that are kept by banks of uh, depositors, uh, we, are, we are not able to, to use our money, which are uh, in our saving accounts. And so uh, people are finding day after day a difficulty in, in, uh, for this to do, uh, uh, to, to exercise their hobbies. And their hobbies is to hunt, like all Medi Mediterranean and East Mediterranean, especially people. Uh, uh, so uh, this crisis was good for birds, but uh, maybe it is giving us a time until we uh, arrange ourselves when the economic crisis will improve uh, people at this time will be educated and they stop uh, uh, doing massacres.